Our first look at the new math section is not that new. This is very basic function notation stuff. This has been on SATs for as long as anyone can remember, okay? This is basic algebra two, maybe algebra one kind of stuff. So we need to treat this thing as an instruction. Now the mistake that a lot of people make is they try to do it all at once. They think very algebraically about things and they're, start, they're gonna just plug everything in all at once. Just take it one step at a time. Where is step one? It's right here, f of two. Just do the f of two, okay? Don't overburden your brain with a million things at once. f of two means we take the f equation, which is x plus seven, and we pop the two in for the x, so two plus seven, so f of two is nine. Great, so let's, let's start rewriting. Okay, I'm gonna write that down here. We'll do it in uh, purple. Four times f of two is nine, so we're making a little substitution. Okay, let's get that g of two, right? That's the next step that we should do here is we should follow that instruction. So g of two is seven times two, and that's 14. So that's gonna go in here for the g. Now step three is just solve this, right? Like this is now just a basic arithmetic. Four times nine is 36 minus 14 is 22. Choice C, that's it. Now, I don't know exactly know where these other answer choices come from, but a, a problem that I foresee for a lot of people is that if they try to do too much, they're going to kind of inevitably lose this negative here. It, it, they're gonna fail to distribute in some way. In this question, I don't, I don't think it really could have that problem, but if they flipped them, and the F was the other one, is the, the second thing before the negative, then we would have some distribution issues that could come up. So my advice is always just do as little algebra as possible at any given point. And so in this case, that means just split this thing up into lots of little components, do each of them separately, and the answer just pops out. And you have a calculator. So even the arithmetic is easy to do just one step at a time. This is very traditional math.